Back in 1997, I moved to Michigan and started working for a very good painter, actually. One of the first things he told me when I was just getting into painting, having no prior experience, was, he said, Philip, he said, always remember that you control the brush. There always seems to be some tight spot that you have to get a silly brush in and do a corner or something like that where um, most people would look at it and go, there's no way, you can't do it. And yet I was amazed as I learned to paint how you could actually manipulate a brush to get into those tight corners or those skinny spots that you would normally think a brush would never fit. But um, you know, that might be good for painting, controlling the brush and, and learning how to control a brush, but that's not necessarily a good thing when it comes to life. See, your life is like a painting and the brush is like the decisions and choices you make in life that are going to determine what your painting is going to look like. The problem is when it comes to life, we're really just not that good of painters. And usually when it comes to those tight spaces and those places where you would never expect a brush to be able to go, if we do it ourselves, we're going to mess it up. We're going to make mistakes. And our painting is going to not look very good. But there is somebody who wants to control that brush of your life, and his name is Jesus. In Proverbs chapter 3, verse 3 through 5, it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, lean not on your own understanding, in all of your ways acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. See, the Lord has a much bigger perspective and a much bigger picture than what you and I have, and he knows what your painting is supposed to look like at the end of your life, and he knows how to get there. Too often we have such a tight grip on the brush, we don't want to give it up to him and let him create the painting that he has for us. And as a result of that, we make a lot of mistakes, we blotch up the painting, and um, if we don't hand the brush over to him, we'll ruin it completely. The wonderful thing is, if we hand him the brush of our lives and give him control, and let him make the painting that he chooses to make that's best for us, he can take those blotches and he can fix them, and he can also create the painting that your life is supposed to look like when you reach the end of your days. So I ask you, who's got the brush of your life? Is it you or is it God? I guarantee this, if you have the brush, you're going to make a mess of things and the painting at the end of your life is not going to look like what it should have. But if you hand that brush over to the Lord and let him have control, even when it looks hard and you're not sure how he's going to get in those tight spaces, if you just trust him, at the end of your life you're going to look back and you're going to look at the painting of your life and realize you did a much better job at creating a beautiful painting than what you could have ever done. Hand that brush over to him and watch him get to work. <laughs>